find the rule that relates the pattern number to the number of blocks. So this is pattern number one, has got two blocks. Pattern number two has three plus three, six blocks. Pattern number three has four plus four plus four, which is 12. So let's make up a table. So pattern number is, let us make up a table of pattern number. So let us call that P, pattern number is P, and number of blocks, number of blocks, let's call B. So let's make up a table so we know the first pattern has got one, two blocks. The second pa pattern has got three plus three, which has got six block. The third pattern has got four, eight, twelve. Now this is not a linear pattern. This is not going in a constant manner. So what do I mean by that? See, this is increasing by four. This is increasing by 4. Then this is increasing by 6. So the next number, I suppose if you continue the pattern 4, this should be increasing by 8. So we'll check that. This should now increase by 8. So this should be 20. So let's check it. So you can see you got 2 at the bottom, 3 at the bottom, 4 at the bottom. So now you'll, you should have five at the bottom, so let me draw a line. And then you've got five, five rows, okay? So let me call, say, so you've got one row, okay? You've got two rows, you've got three rows. Now you'll have four rows, and you've got two blocks at the bottom and one row, okay? So let me finish it off, so you've got, uh, one, two, three, four. So now you should have five. So let me one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let me delete this. Okay. And then you have you got one, two, three, four, five, and you got four rows. One, two, three, four. Okay. So yeah, you got 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so let's plot this to also show you graphical understanding. So pattern, so let me call P for pattern number. This is pattern number P. And this is a B for number of blocks. So this is on X axis, we are taking pattern number. On the Y axis, we are taking blocks. So one, the first pattern has two blocks. So this is one comma two. The second pattern has got six blocks, so six would come here. The third pattern has got 12. Okay, and the fourth would have, it has got 20. So if you join it, let us do, do a dotted line. Let us join it by dotted line. You can understand this is not a straight line. This is increasing in a steep manner. So this is a curved line. Mathematically, you can't join it, but only to show you, it is increasing in a steep manner. So this is a curve. So this is not a, a linear pattern. This is a quadratic pattern. Okay, so now to understand the quadratic pattern, a quadratic pattern would be multiplication of two numbers. So what do I mean by that? So this two, can I write as one times two? 1 times 2 is 2. This is 2 times 3. This is uh, 3 times 4. And this is 4 times 5. So I want you to focus on 1, 2, 3, and 4. What are they? If you look carefully, they, this stands for the pattern number. So to get the number of blocks, is the pattern number times the next number. Okay, so for, for the second pattern, it will be uh, the pattern number that is two times the next number. So if you continue the pattern, the fifth would be, the fifth would be the pattern number, so let me write it, the pattern number 
times 6, which is 30. And it does make sense now. So this is increasing by 4. four. This is increasing by 6. This is increasing by 8. And now it's increasing by 10. The next pattern, so then if you go to the sixth the pattern, you will have this should increasing by 12. So that should be 42. And 42 does make sense. It is 6 times 7. This is 6 times 7. So what's the rule between pattern number and number of blocks? So we can say, well, number of blocks B, if B is the number of blocks, would be the pattern number p times p plus 1. So p times p plus 1 is the relation between the number of blocks and the pattern number. Okay, so I want you to do this yourself. This is a question to find the relation between this. Uh, you want to find the pattern number between the pattern number and the number of blocks. Try to do this yourself. Okay, so this will be a challenge, and uh, this is also a challenge. Okay, you can pause this video and do it yourself. Okay, so let's come back. So I hopefully you have done this. So I will do this question. Even if 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 you haven't done it, you can stop it now and do it yourself. So again, the same strategy. So let's say P for pattern number, and B for number of blocks. So the first pattern has two, four, six. The second pattern has three, six, nine, twelve. The third pattern has four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So let's see whether it's a quadratic pattern. So this is increasing by six. This is increasing by eight. So following that pattern, the fourth pattern should have 30. The fourth pattern should have 30. You can draw the next pattern and see, check whether it is, it would have 30 blocks. So as it's a quadratic pattern, it is something times something. Okay, so let's see whether we can write this. So let's look at this whether what is this so if you look at this you should be able to see this is two times three this is two times three instead of saying two four six there are three lots of two okay this is two times three this is three times four this is three times four and this is four times five Okay, so this I can write, this is 2 times 3, this is 4 times, oh, this is 3 times 4, sorry, this is 3 times 4, this is 3 times 4, this is 4 times 5. So these are all product of consecutive numbers, this is 4 times 5. And this is 5 times 6, and so on. So if you continue the next pattern, if you want to write the next pattern, you can write, okay, you can write 5. The fifth pattern would have 2 times 3, 3 times 4, 4 times 5 is 5 times 6. The next should have 6 times 7. So it should be 42. And it does make sense. This is increasing by 12. Okay, so now I want you to look at the relation between this number and this number. What is the relation between this number and this number? So if we call this as P, if suppose this we are defining as P, how can we define this? So well, this is one more than this number. So this whole group can be defined as P plus one. Okay? And this number can be defined is two more than this number. This is p plus two. Okay, so so this number plus one will give you this number, and this number plus two will give you this number. 
So 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4. So here we can say the relation between the number of blocks of B, if B is the number of blocks, <coughs> it will be P pattern number plus 1 times pattern number plus 2. Okay, so let's check this, use this formula. So what we are saying is, suppose if we continue, <coughs> and if you go to the 10th pattern, you go to the 10th pattern, you have to go 10 plus 1, you have to, you can do this, you also draw the 10th pattern, that will be 10 plus 1 times 10 plus 2, which is 11 times 12. So this is 11 times 10 is 110 plus 11 times 2 is 22. This should be 132. So if you go to the 10th pattern, you will have 132 blocks. So this is the last question. I want you to, this is a challenge. I'm not doing this. So this is something that you need to find. What's the relation between the pattern number and coins?